I have just been blown away by machine learning. Essentially some next generation AI which is able to take a sound, let's like say for example a musical instrument like a violin, break it down into its component parts sonically and then rebuild it, model it back up, essentially giving us the power to kind of recreate the sound of an instrument without ever having sampled or even touched the real instrument in the first place. It's completely mind-blowing and could be a bit of a game changer if you're a session musician. Is it the end of days? Is it the rise of the machine? <sighs> Let's find out. Hi there, Jim Husford from Lark Music here and welcome to Judgment Day. Uh, Obviously I'm joking and certainly it's a bit melodramatic to suggest that it's the end of the road for session musicians, but this technology which I'm about to show you is is pretty impressive. With the VST, in order to get a legato violin sound, we need to sample a violin playing legato sound. This machine learning is basically listening to you know, several hours worth of data of a violin being played. It's then breaking the violin sound down into lots of minuscule pieces and then rebuilding it, essentially enabling me to sing in a certain melodic line and then the AI will recreate that and make it sound like a violin or a flute or a trumpet. Anyway, I'm going to demonstrate this in real time because it's incredible, so here we go. But before we do that, if you're new to the channel, I post fairly regularly on the subject of music production and composition and with a focus on production music and getting your music synced to TV, film and ads. So if you're interested, hit the subscribe button below and the bell icon, that way next Next time I post, you're the first to find out. Let's have a look at Terminators. So here we are inside Tone Transfer. Um, it's accessible to everyone, so you can Google Tone Transfer or I'll pop a link in the description below. Um, but essentially we're inside this sort of Google AI system where it's got up, set up sort of four different instruments, flute, sax, trumpet and violin. Now I've loaded in a sample, um, basically just a little bit of guitar, have a listen. Okay, simple riff. Now what I'm going to do is I'm transform that into the sound of a flute or a sax based on the machine learning of how it's modelled the individual sound of a saxophone. So let's have a listen to, well, have a listen to flute first because it sounds a bit naff of all the four. Let's have a listen to saxophone. So this is my guitar riff transformed into saxophone. which is pretty damn good. I mean, there's some, there are some weird artifacts in there, um, but okay, I can sort of forgive that. Now, I think for me, one, I'm actually a saxophonist first and foremost, and I always find that the two worst MIDI instruments you can ever get are guitar and sax. They never, ever sound convincing. Whereas that sounds, aside from the artifacts and some weirdness harmonics at the end, sounds pretty good to my ears, not least because it's kind of got a little bit of the sort of spit sound from the reed. It's got some clicking of the keys and sort of like some breathiness as well. Have a listen again. So I've loaded in a guitar sample, it's transformed into saxophone and quite, or, you know, I could have literally just sort of sung in that line. Um, now, one thing I have noticed is that sometimes the machine learning struggles with sort of difference between legato and staccato, depending on the instrument. But, you know, that to my ears sounds pretty damn good. And if we sort of fast forward into the future where essentially we don't need samples, we can just have a system which has mapped a saxophone and we can sing in our sax line and then have an amazing sounding sax in the system. Um, yeah, who needs a session musician? Well, we do uh, because, you know, Again, as good as this stuff gets, it will never replace someone who is amazing at their, at their own instrument and in the real world. Have a listen to the trumpet. Obviously, kind of at the top end of the register there, it's sort of struggling a little bit, but what I can do is I can bring it down the octave if I want. That makes it sound a bit more convincing. Again, it's really cool. Again, you've got the sort of breathiness and the sort of spittliness of the, the trumpet, which it sounds sounds really good. Uh, let's have a listen to violin. Again, like some sort of like transitions, sort of legato -y kind of transitions are a bit naff there, but still, you know, for a first outing, it's 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 pretty impressive. And again, it's like you know. 
this will never, for me, this will never replace uh, human beings. I was being a bit melodramatic when I was talking about or asking the question whether or not this is the sort of end of the road for session musicians. And of course it's not. Um, you know, creating music is all about creating an, or eliciting an emotional response in the listener. And one thing that AI will never be able to do is sort of convey emotion or even understand emotion. So, you know, somebody who's studied their craft and is able to sort of, you know, imbue their performance with sort of emotion and and you know whatever emotion that that is um will never be replaced by you know like a terminator uh playing a violin or whatever that is so yeah i just think it's really exciting and it blew my mind again you know traditionally saxophone sounds really bad as a vst but this one sounds sounds pretty convincing will i be getting rid of my sax in favor of using this Probably not, no. But at the same time, it is kind of like a an interesting uh, new sort of horizon for for music production, um, and you know, there's also AI working on uh, being able to compose music as well. So, so one day, I too might be redundant. We'll see. So thank you very much for watching. If you are generally interested in the subject of music production and composing, then by all means hit the subscribe button below and the bell icon because I post fairly regularly and that way, next time I do post, you're the first to find out. If you're interested in production music and getting your tracks picked up for use in TV, film and ads, then there is a link in the description below to a free webinar which I've done. This webinar covers pretty much everything you could possibly need to know about the world of production music. Um, I talk about how you get paid, when you get paid, who pays you. Um, also I look at the different types of libraries and which are the best ones, but there's also some concrete sort of steps that you can take on a day-to-day -day basis, some practical things that you can apply to your writing tomorrow to make sure that not only do your tracks get picked up, but they get used over and over and over again. And that means you get paid more money. Thanks for watching. Keep making music.